Today, we're going to be replacing the brakes on Mark's Toyota GR Yaris. We'll also be installing some Wiperion titanium brake shims as well. Apologies if I pronounced that incorrectly. These shims apparently help evenly disperse heat much better than the factory units, which helps prevent some known faults like the piston seals melting from excessive use. Okay, so in theory, we pop this guy off. Oh, there we go. Pull this guy up. This video will be less of me talking and more of the owner Mark talking through the process and other really Change interesting bits of info. Off. So sit back, relax, and enjoy jacket. the episode. Look at that! Just pushes out. Theory. That simple. One. Helps if you swear a bit. Three. Three. There you go. You ever heard of Advix brakes? No, is it? Well, that's that brand, huh? Yeah. I always thought these were like a Brembo variant or something. Uh, they sort well, okay, they're not Brembo, but they're um, Advix make the brakes for um, Japanese GT3 uh, oh, race cars. Cool. So they make all the new NSX and all that lot. Yeah. Advix. Yeah. So the car Jensen button races and all that lot have all got Advix brakes on them. Quite a bit of meat left on those to say that's how much. See, there's more, more right. discovery than that, but all good. So, what we're going to do is because my super scientific friend combined the two shims together, I'm going to combine the two together as well. However, yeah. now when you say combine the two shims together, what do you mean? Show me. Can you open that with your ungloved <laughs> hands? We got a visitor. Yo. You. <laughs> yeah. This has got a anti-vibration squealy ball. And then this guy is gonna go like that. Titanium and steel. Ah, so you do keep the original Combine the two. ones on. Yeah, and the only reason I'm doing that instead of just chucking that in the mm. bin is A because it's got this guy on it. And there's a little divots. And locator doofers. But also because when I saw my friend with his video on the um, YouTube doubling the two made a huge difference mm. uh, temperature wise of what gets through into the seals. You can actually see the seals on this are actually in good condition. Um, there's videos all over YouTube of guys who have been taking these on tracks in Europe and this just melts completely yeah. like a puddle of goo all down the side uh, which is warranty but yeah so in order to avoid that with uh, track days in summer we're gonna combine, combine these two guys. New pads. Fish pads. Yep, fish pads. Combine those two guys. So we're gonna have to push the pistons back for these guys to fit in. And then jobs are good. There's actually not that much material on the pad to start with by looking. No. Mm -hmm. Usually you'd expect. So on that that end of the pad, there's probably. Yeah, you've actually used quite a lot of pad though, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, 8,000 kilometers. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'd say on the right hand side it's like more than 50% warm, yeah. uh, on the left hand side it's more probably another 10% of that's maybe 60% warm, which is actually surprising. Um, it's already it's already down past all the chamfered part of the pad. Ah oh, yeah I see yeah. Which uh, that's low enough for me given the abuse it gets. Yeah. What I don't want to happen with those pads when pads get pretty low what can happen to the material is it shatters basically. This and material. you just yeah yeah any any material on mm. brake pads, so you basically just um, it'll just disintegrate and come off the pad in like a huge chunks. Like uh, do you know like when a tire delaminates and you're left with just canvas, that can happen to that, and you don't want that to happen on the track. Plus the pads are like you can buy three sets of Toyota pads for the price of one set of endless pads, Jeez. and these are made by Akabono, so it's not yeah. like they're junk. And they're just dusty as fuck, which everybody hates. I believe there's rust on this car. <laughs> Pig iron rust. I mean, it's a, it's a Toyota. It's always going to be rust. <gasps> Top tip. Use this. Pull it halfway out. Yeah. And you, you use it as a lever to push the pistons back in. That's pretty useful. 
I'm just going to push this guy back in here actually, I'll use this one. Just to space it out some more? Just to push the pistons back, use it as a lever like that. Oh, that's a smart one. There we go, one, two, together. Boom. So the guy who made these, is he also got a GIX? These are from Russia. Ah! He's a titanium specialist. Paruski. So does he specialize just in GR or pretty much uh, anything? No, he, um, again, time attack Philip. Um, ah. Pestered him. I said, can you do some shims for this? And he was like, yeah, all right. And then he sold them hand over fist and he can't make them fast enough. Actual stone chip chunks taken out yeah. of it. Is that what causes it, stone chips? Is the rotor okay? That's what I'm checking. So when you go to do the rear pads, will you also be getting some of these plates with them? Nah, or is it really just front nah. specific? These, these put exponentially more heat yeah, into the Because they're the ones that actually do the hard work, huh? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna have to do the old. Uh... Easy. That seems to. Have... Yep. That's yep. in. That's it. Excellent. And then put the two pins back in. Uh, you can yeah. put you can put grease on them um, on the shims yeah. for like anti vibration, but it's already got that little pad on there anyway. And then you. Yeah, wait. that's what I was actually gonna ask: is do they come with pad grease or something? You can put it on, but no point. It only works for like a few hundred k's, and then by the time you've got. A few heat cycles through this, it melts it off anyway. I am loving how... That is so easy. Yeah, I'm literally putting any barely any pressure on it. When I did this to my Eva, Eva, yeah. it took a lot of swear words. Tell the metric of how difficult something is by how much I swear while I'm doing it. <laughs> Just goes to show modern, modern stuff's always going to be a little easier, huh? Yeah, uh, I suspect also they probably uh, used something to keep the paint out of the holes where the pins go, um, yeah. so that it actually goes in properly, and they probably drilled it out properly too. Right, um, so monkey boy goes in through there. What we'll do while it's up in the air still, we'll um, we'll put the front um, thing on as well. The ventilated. Yeah. Good idea. Do for Oh, this came, this went on before we put that chin back on. That goes on that, that's a spring. Push him over the top there, that keeps tension on the pins. Uh, yep, and just push him over the top, I guess. I think it's the other way, isn't it? One hooks around the other side. Possibly, but why does it all break just on that side? No, that no, no, I mean, thing? you had that, that this hooky oh, roundy yeah. part. Like that? No, no, no. no. So put in, no, no, no. Yeah, that side in first, and then push the lesser twisted bit. Doesn't the spacing doesn't work? On it. So, I'm not gonna get it out. Uh, uh, feels like it goes on that way around. Yeah. Yeah, the whole hook thing. Uh, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. What? Uh, this just worked before you said don't do that. <laughs> no, because no, what I meant was because you had this piece hooked in first, whereas that piece loops all the way around, and you're uh, trying to push in. Yeah, so whatever way Big you had brain. it before, yeah. Big brain. So, yeah, okay, that's on. Right, okay. Uh, so the, the, only, the, uh, the only thing with this now is um, the pins are going to have tension on them because of this yeah. spring, which means it's probably better to put that clip on first. Uh, okay, I see, yep. Uh, you probably leave that sitting loose, to be honest. Uh, you could with this on, but then yeah. the... These would be only retained by this. Ah, oh, okay, right, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So this goes on and through like that, and then we just. Yeah. <laughs> Gloves. <laughs> Straight away. Same, same. That's a little bit easier. There we go. Boom. Easy. Not really a difficult job, is it?